how's it going everyone it is prashan here and we have another cop or drop video for you and the cop means that you should get this card it's going to give you the dubs that you need in conquest and ladder it makes any deck that you have just a step better right or it could be the complete opposite it could be a complete dud it should be a card that you should avoid like the plague and you should save your resources for another card in the future so full transparency i said that <laughs> ajax was a cop and i i was completely wrong I, I think ajax will be better in the future especially with cassandra nova but as of right now you have to do a lot just to benefit from ajax's ability I, I think that's why they buffed him before he came out they realized oh crap and even now playing him it's like uh why did i play it like i could have did something else so i think for now ajax is a drop i think there's a few days before he leaves the shop so i wouldn't bother getting him now that is just my honest opinion but if you plan on getting cassandra nova i think ajax's value goes up higher so before we go into copycat we do have cards that are dropping in the spotlights so we have coal obsidian and thanos that are dropping as well as copycat and we have coal obsidian coal obsidian is gonna be uh a 410 and then you can play you can only play this where you have a one cost card so if you're a beginning player and you're playing zoo i think this is a perfect fit in zoo decks especially like mid game type of deal because you can play something big your opponent has to like make decisions right if you have other cards that are big as well for the final turn like they're shang chi like it's like all right do i play shang or shang or do i not do i skip so yeah um perfect card he's series five another series like all these cards are series five i think second dinner should just give us more tokens if everything's series five so series five card obviously still <laughs> cool obsidian but I, I think this is a cop especially if you're a new newer player i think this will give you the wins that you need especially in deck building and especially since he goes pretty well with the next card that is dropping and the spotlights as well and that's that's thanos that's the big behemoth there one of the big bads was he the first big bad technically thanos here of course series five he'll be series five forever and yeah 610 and then whenever he starts in your opening hand he shuffles six infinity stones into your deck and then each infinity stone does coincide with uh making him stronger into a, a 20 right so i think this is a must cop too i think he's one of the big bads special at lockjaw being changed as well like thanos has gained more value and then i think the stone change too it's like a, a quest to get thanos to like 20 right so i think that's pretty cool like thanos is a must cop cole is a must cop and then obviously we have copycat and i always suggest that you have like four keys especially if you really really want a card four keys is the best way i know we're all running out of resources i'm even running out of resources which which i guess it, it feels bad luckily i was one and done with ajax uh and turo says it's streamer's luck but yeah like i would have been screwed i would have probably had to pay like money for that arrow magneto bundle just to get a key and i'm glad i didn't and i'm pretty sure most of you guys are in the same situation where it's like do i get this card or not do i know it like is it gonna be good is it gonna be bad like do i have to watch these youtube videos <laughs> from these streamers and content creators to tell if this is good or bad are they gonna sell me on the bad card that's that's why i try to do these copper drops and i say sorry for ajax but he will be better in the future so let's go into copycat and see what she does she is a three five and when you draw this steal the text from the bottom card of your opponent's deck which is pretty awesome your opponent has no clue that copycat is in your hand and your opponent has no clue what they copied and your opponent probably won't even know what's at the bottom of their deck because they won't even get to play what is in the bottom of their deck right especially like the game's not eight turns unless they're like drawing cards or getting more cards out somehow right so there is not that much downside with this card so worst part can be she can draw infinite and she just stays at 3-5, but 3-5 is pretty good on curve. 
and the upside is she could steal an iron man so she could be a 310 already before she even goes out on the board to buff other cards on the board and the fact that she's a three cost too there's not that much downside it's not like she's a five cost or four cost or six cost where it's like all right does this card put me over the top does this win me a game i think she's more of a complimentary card and she just goes with the flow in the beginning of the game and then you just get the upside of whatever your opponent has right and if it's bad it's bad if it's good it's good or you can even save it utilize it yourself right like for instance if it's a mystique you could play probably like iron man on five and then six you have uh, two mystiques right you already have mystique in your hand and then you play copycat which is a mystique and that you stole from your opponent and then that puts you over the top or a copycat could be a galactus copycat could copy galactus turn three you're playing a galactus which is insane so i think that that is pretty awesome pretty good i think the only downside of this is like airish index right you don't know what your opponent is playing and then that card is buried so deep that your opponent won't even see it at all and the other thing too it's like your opponent knows what they're not drawing so if you play copycat on three and then like it's like all right like was this a win condition for your opponent like can they prep and play a different way just based off of what copycat is so that that's like the upside and downside of copycat but i overall i think this is a cop i think surprise cards like this is what pushes you over the edge to win you games and i, I think this is it I, I personally thought ajax was that too like if you did enough damage throughout the whole game then final turn that will be the card you will play just to push you over the edge but the fact is that you can't do enough damage throughout the process of the game right so let's go and talk about some decks that copycat fits in well with right so the first one i stole this from the homie Docty. this is copycat good stuff it's hydra bob White Widow, Jeff, Red Guardian, Copycat, Nocturne, Gwynpool, Claw, Leech, Blink, Red Hulk, and Magneto. So I'm, I'm surprised he put Hydra Bob in here. Um, I'm a Bob believer. As you guys know, I have a few decks on my channel with Blob, and most of you guys say I should just take Blob out and put any other card in and you would still win. But I, I love the, the mechanics of the card especially with deadpool's diner i think it's going to be amazing with deadpool's diner and then you have white widow here just for some disruption clog jeff jeff is freaking awesome jeff is the best card ever and then next we have red guardian and then red guardian just for some disruption right and then copycat of course nocturne just to change the stubborn locations we have gwenpool and then typically with like the mid game cards like gwenpool nocturne we could switch them out with blink and then hopefully we could draw cards like Claw, Leech, Red Hulk, and Magneto. And then turn six, you just play Claw, Red Hulk, or Magneto, and they'll put you over the top. So definitely a good copycat, good stuff. I really love the Leech, Blink, like Gwynpool play. Like that's been my highest climbing type of deck so far this season, especially just playing those good cards, rotating them out. Your opponent doesn't expect anything for the most part. Uh, it's like least expected and it's a surprise and that's what puts you over the top and then we have another deck here it's a mill deck i call it mill steel and kill uh, so we have yondu grandmaster white widow cable magic red guardian baron zemo gladiator chung chi cannonball and dr octopus and of course we have Cal copycat right so what I want to do is just mill away my opponent's deck and then play their cards. So we have cards like Cable to steal what they have. We have Copycat to steal what they have. We have Baron Mordo to steal what they have. We have Dr. Octopus just to bring everything on the board. And then we could destroy it with Cannonball or with Chung chi just depending on the board state. So pretty decent deck overall. And then Magic is just here to prolong the game. Just prolong the game that way we can mill away and they have nothing on turn seven and we have everything on turn seven so this is another awesome deck that i made with copycat hopefully it does pretty well we will we'll see i think mill is doing pretty good it's just that airsham decks have taken over so it's hard to play mill when they have 50 cards in their deck and you can't mill them away 
but the airstream has calmed down a little bit so i think this will do pretty well uh soon so yeah those are those are the two decks i have for copycat going into copycat day one so this is pretty much an easy video to make right like copycat is a definite cop not that much downside if you guys see downside let me know i might even try to put her in a surfer deck as well like a surfer good stuff deck right with gladiator and then shaw maybe even red guardian just like surfer good stuff puts you over the top so that's pretty much it like a definite cop let me know in the comments what what you guys are gonna make with copycat what do you guys feel about copycat are you gonna skip copycat is there another card you're waiting for in the future are you guys resource poor like i am no keys no tokens i just have to fly off the seat of my pants every week and try to get these cards to make content let me know down below till next time be safe keep on snapping and peace snap